Good morning. We are getting ready to start our day and visit one of Seoul's more popular neighborhoods, Songsu. Due to its industrial roots mixing with more modern, trend-setting cafes, restaurants, and shops, Songsu rose in popularity, I'd say, five or more years ago now. When I first visited Songsu before 2020 with my best friend, we were really enjoying the vibe of the neighborhood. But ever since moving to Seoul and revisiting Songsu quite a few times, the appeal of it has become lost on me. The last time my husband and I went to Songsu, we decided it's just overhyped, overcrowded, and not somewhere that we cared to visit again. In one of my previous videos, I introduced a neighborhood that, in my opinion, is underrated and one of the best neighborhoods in Seoul. But it got me wondering if maybe I'm just a creature of habit and it's just a neighborhood I became very comfortable with. Or maybe I simply don't know where to go in Songsu, so I'm missing the point of its appeal. I decided to do a little more research to find some good food and shopping. And today, my husband and I are going to give it another try. Can Songsu change my mind? Hey, we're in Songsu. We are going to Cafe Onion first because it tends to get really crowded with foreigners. So it's quite famous, I guess, from Instagram or something, I don't know. But there's actually three onion locations that I know of. There's one in Anguk, Mia, and then here in Songsu. But I prefer the one in Songsu. I've only been one time, but I like the vibe inside of it better. That's the signature. Black cheese bug. Black cheese bun. Croissant. Look at this. That sounds really good. Hello. Hello. Flat white. Hago. Hello. 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 We came here 30 minutes after opening and it's full. So this was their signature. Apparently. And I don't know what that is. What's in it? Um, great question. Cheers. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Do you like yours? It's pretty good. I need my second coffee of the day. Is that your second coffee? What was your first? Oh man. Let's dig in. Which one do you want to try first? Savory or sweet? Savory. It's hard to cut though. Yeah. So my question is, yeah. will it be it sweet good. or not sweet? It smells savory. Thank yeah. God. It's better than I expected. A little sweet. Mm. Oh, wow. Yep. Good luck. Mm. Nowadays, a lot of Korean people, they'll go to these like trendy cafes once and like never return. They just go for the pictures, is what I've noticed. Literally, like my husband just said, I don't see a single Korean person here. I mean, like if there were any other cafe that's trendy but not popular enough to be known abroad, it would already have closed down. So the nice thing for Onion is it is like a very successful franchise. They have multiple locations and even if Korean people don't really care to go anymore, there's always going to be someone coming.
my god. Sung Hoon ended up doing a little more research about how Song Su came to be the way it is now. And it's quite interesting. It's around the 70s or 80s, it became like a big industrialized area. But then there was a recession in 1990-ish. Yeah. yeah. So things went down and then China was producing really cheap goods. So they just started importing from China. And then this area kind of became a dead zone with amb abandoned buildings. And then in 2005, Seoul Forest was built up. So then this area, because Seoul Forest is near Tuksum, which right. is one station away. Then this whole area became popular again. Song Dong Gu started to like encourage people to build up from the abandoned buildings. So utilize the spaces that were already here. Kind of an interesting history now that I understand why it happened. One million dance studios over here too. I did a dance class thinking like, oh yeah, it'll be beginner. I can follow along, just have a little exercise. No, it was hard as hell. I have no rhythm. <laughs> Every time I walk by this building, there's a lot of people. Oh, I, I wonder line. why. Yeah, what but it's... I don't know what this is. And you it said says... this AMS one too? Or Ames? Ames yeah. Studio? Yeah. How much is the rent for that one again? 3000 3000 a month. Tiny ass store. Yeah. So Song Su is really difficult for business owners. You gotta have a lot of money. Yeah. What oh, well, that's pretty. Makeup, makeup and life blending. We found Japanese green tea, but we're supposed to be promoting Korean stuff. Anyway, <laughs> Market in You is our first stop for shopping. Got in the line without knowing what this is, and um, I think it might be like a luxurious brand. I've never but, um, stand oil. Yeah, stand oil. I've never heard of it, but we just came in here for the photo booth. Yeah. But now we're in a line trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. In Songsu, this happens a lot. Yeah. It's like going to heaven. What is this? Oh, chow cock. What's this pop up? EQL? EQL. Are we allowed to stand on this? Guess so. Alright, I'm getting off. Bye! Been here for about two hours. How are you feeling 
about Songsu? Has your mind changed at all? Not yet. So far, I don't know how I feel about Songsu mm -hmm. because I just feel like it's a little bit pretentious. We saw a lot of pop-up stores that only let like members in. And, um, yeah, like how do you even become a member? Places that you have to line up for just to see, you know, like bags. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's all expensive. Yeah. So unless you go to the secondhand shop. I just tried on a skirt that I really liked, but it was... Luckily it didn't fit me because it was like 170 bucks. But um, yeah, that's how I'll be here. These are the first blossoms I've seen this spring. So over here you have people waiting in line for another pop-up store and then you got this going on across the street. This store is literally bursting with people. Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. I guess my other qualm with Songsu is that everything is spread out. It's not like you're walking down the street and there's cute cafes and stuff all over the place. I guess that's what's cute about Iksandong and like uh, Yenam. That area, it's like nowhere, no matter where you go, on both sides of the street, you're just surrounded by really cute things. Maybe that's my issue with hey, Songsu. Is there really a line? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind waiting? So Tamburns is another good example. You can see it's like an abandoned factory building. And then they just kind of glassed it out and made it into a modern store. I was a little hesitant on making a negative video about Songsu because everyone, well at least people who make videos about neighborhoods, they tend to make it positive, right? Like, oh, this is a neighborhood you should visit. And I don't know, I just want to give my honest opinion. It's interesting. I definitely think you should visit and see for yourself, especially if you're into fashion. But I mean, you would say it's like the most popular neighborhood, no? Right, right It's now. pretty much the po right most now. popular neighborhood. I don't really get that. So real. What did you just say? The old couple is dressed really well. Does Sungun have grandpa fashion? It's Jenai. Is this a simple table? I don't know what to touch. Like, what can I touch? Oh, you have to put it on. I don't know how it works. I'm scared. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's 83. Oh, wow. Not $83, good. <laughs> so I like, I like Bane. You know what it smells like? It smells like a um, department store bathroom. Don't tell me that. Oh man. Vitamin E, A. Lit. Mm -hmm. uh, So we finished eating some negukbap and we're gonna go get salt bread. What's the place called? Sogum uh Che Yondo Sogum Bang. You have to buy it in bulk. How many do you have to buy? Four. Uh, four? Oh, yeah. And but you have to eat them in the same day, no? Yeah. So we're gonna go get the bread and then hit up one more store before we go home. And then we'll give our final rating for how we feel about Songsu after giving it another chance. We're in the main street of Songsu, if you couldn't tell. This is what I cannot stand. It's an absolute madness. Yeah, that one bag has four bread in it and we have to buy that one. Oh my god, the line though. <laughs> Got our bread. Can I see it? This is so interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. It's 
so pretty today. Yeah. Hey, let's see if it lives up to the hype. We're just sharing one? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. All right, we're headed yeah. to our last spot. We just were using the bathroom at this huge church. It's like eight floors. 10 floors. Yeah, I went, I went into the bathroom and I saw this dad and a daughter, a baby, baby girl. And he was telling the girl that like, why are you eating your snot? It's not even tasty. It was like, <laughs> you're supposed to eat Bob, not snot, you know? This place was recommended by this YouTuber I watch. There's no sign, what's it called? It's called something archive. <laughs> oh, Million Archive. Oh, million, right yeah, there. Million Archive. Chevy going low and slow, six seven impala on any phones, cruise control. Baby, I know. Step on the gas, break dip, let's go. Speakers in the bag, let it hit for show. Baby, if you like it, we can get a little more. Ice in the air, let it fall like snow. Ooh, let me see that work. Some soft, some cute, she can hit a little twerk to do that stuff and really show me what it is. Hello, fresh, we had to live in my. All right, we're back home from our day in Songsu. I still believe that Songsu is overrated. I think it's too crowded. I think that a lot of the stores are too expensive, even the secondhand shops. Though the last one we visited did have a good price, I think. People are waiting in line just to even get into a store, so. Or a restaurant. Restaurant, restaurant cafe. cafe. Yeah. We went early. We got there 30 minutes after Onion opened. And then when we were leaving, I mean, you saw earlier, the crowd was ridiculous. Yeah. It's so crowded. I think you can get the same vibe and the same appeal in other neighborhoods that are a little more chill, such as Mule has the industrial feel as well. And the old buildings turned into more modern spaces. I'm not a big fan of the industrial looking areas in general yeah but i do think that songsu is overrated also <laughs> but at the same time there are some really cool looking unique um clothing stores mm -hmm. and luxurious brands that you can check out if you're into fashion so that's one appeal i think i can think of today was fun but it was fun it's not a neighborhood i would frequent hope you enjoyed today see you in the next video bye bye